Give me a minute and let's talk about the fourth, fourth oil depot or refining facility uh, that the Ukrainians have hit in the last week. Now, this latest hit is on the Black Sea, about 450 kilometers from the front lines or about 800 kilometers from Odessa. And that's important because people have been saying, you know, oh, the Ukrainians should have been hitting the refineries and the depots uh, all along, right? Like, why haven't they been hitting them? Why is it taking so long to, to hit Russia where it hurts? Well, these things are far away. It's hard to hit something far away. St. Petersburg, 1,250 miles, according to Budinov. That's how far those drones flew. The technology didn't even exist at the start of this war. The Ukrainians developed it in-house. They built it. Domestic. These are all domestically produced drones that are flying deep inside of Russia. And now that this genie is out of the bottle, there's no way to stuff it back in, boy. You're going to see this now, I think, consistently over and over and over again until Russia is crippled. Now, Russia's a major exporter of gas and oil, right? How's this going to affect world supply? One of the things maybe that was holding, it's been suggested, that one of the things holding uh, Ukraine back was they didn't want to affect world uh, supply and demand. Well, the fact is that the price of oil has been consistently dropping, despite OPEC's production cuts. So it seems to me uh, we don't. there's not very much risk to the international price of oil if some of Russia's capacity is diminished. Certainly, the capacity on, in the far west for those strategic locations like Bryansk and Oriel that, support, that supply the front line, that, none of that oil's leaving the country, right? That's all fueling the war effort. So there's no hit there. Take them out as much as they want. Now, this, this is one of the, the refineries that pumps out some 59 million barrels uh, a month in uh, oil exports and the exports of refined oil and gas products from the Black Sea. So could we see some impact? I don't know. It would be nice to shut it all down as far as I'm concerned. They've got the Baltic, right? And they've got the East ports. But going after Russia's oil infrastructure, it's bread and butter, is going to immensely compromise Russia's ability to prosecute this war. That's what's important.